Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we will be completing the quest Hand in the Sand. There are no quest requirements and the stat requirements are 17 thieving and 49 crafting. Items needed. 22 coins, a red and a white berry, 2 empty vials, a bucket of sand and a bullseye lantern lens. For the recommended items, nothing really, just bring some weight reducing clothing and 1 or 2 stamina potions should be enough as well as three inventory slots that would be nice. For the teleports, two to Brimhaven, but since I don't have the construction requirement to teleport myself to the Brimhaven POH portal, I will be using the Ardoin cloak and then take the boat which cost 30 coins each. Three teleports to Yanil, of which one teleport back to Yanil is from Entrana, when you don't have your armor nor weapons with you, such as a Dremen staff or the Ardoin cloak. So be sure to keep that in mind. I'll be using the fairing code CIQ, which will take me just west of Yanil. If you have access to the Watchtower teleport, that might be a little bit faster. And then also one teleport to Entrana. I'll be using the hot air balloon and I will also be banking at Castle Wars to deposit my combat related stuff. And then also one after the quest is completed. So where to start this quest is here at the bird northwestern part of Yanil. Let's talk to him and select option 2 twice. By the way, this quest is filled with puns. If it is your very first time completing this quest, then actually I will suggest you to read what the characters all are saying because it is pretty funny. But because I've done this quest like 5 times already, I'm gonna quickly run south and let's go to the inn, the Dragon Inn. Let's talk to the bartender and select option 4 to buy a beer. After getting the beer, we will need to talk to the other NPC inside of this inn. And let's talk to him. And he will soil the sandy hand with the beer. Next, let's run east. And we'll now need to go to the entrance of the Magic Guild. The original entrance, the eastern side. There, in front of the door, you will find a bell. Ring the bell and then select option 2 if you have started the quest Zog of Flesh Eaters. If not, then do nothing, just skip through the dialogue or read it. Next, return to Bert to receive his Rhoda. After getting the Rhoda from Bert, we will need to make our way to his boss who is located in Brimhaven. I'll be using my Ardoin cloak. Right, once we have this, so let's make our way to a Brimhaven. Alright, once you've made it to the Brimhaven POH portal, let's go east. And south of the fish restaurant, there you should find a small house. Inside, you should find Sandy, and in front of him, on the southern wall, we will find Sandy's desk. Search it to find the other Rhoda. Next, let's right-click on Sandy and pickpocket. And depending on your thieving level, this might take multiple attempts, but keep pickpocketing him until you get some sand. Next, return to Yanil and return to Bird.
Right, let's talk to Bert, and after speaking to him, we will need to return to Rarf, the wizard that will spawn by ringing the bell in front of the magic guild. So, ring the bell once again, and select option 2 if you've started or completed Zoga Flesh Eaters. Next, talk to him again and select option 4 and then 1. Unless you've done the Soga Flesh Eaters, then it is 2, 4, 1. And he will teleport us to the magic store of Port Serum. First, let's trade Betty and buy 5 Earth Runes. Only 5. Next, exit and then talk to Betty and select option 1 about the quest. Next, use a red berry on the potion. Then a white berry. And then use the pink dye on the lens, then talk to Betty, select option 1. Next, let's stand in the doorway, on a dark tile inside of the building, and then use the lens on the counter, and you'll make a true theorem. Let's talk to Betty one last time, select option 1. And after speaking to her, we'll need to make our way back to Brimhaven to return to Sandy. I will see you there. Alright, south of the fish restaurant, let's talk to Sandy and select any option, doesn't really matter. Just keep trying to select any option until he looks through his window. Once he's finally looking through his window, let's use a true serum on the table or Sandy's coffee mug. Afterwards, let's activate the magical orb. Then talk to Sandy and select option 1, 1, 1. Next, we'll need to make our way back to the Magic Guild to talk to Rarv. Once again, select option 2, but only if you have started or completed Zoga Flesh Eaters. Let's ring the bell, let's talk about the sandy problem. And next he will ask for 5 earth runes as well as a bucket of sand. Let's talk to him again, select option 2 maybe, and deliver the items to trigger the cutscene. After the cutscene is over, we will need to make our way to Entrana. I'll be using the hot air balloon because I've completed the quest, the enlightened journey. You can just teleport yourself using a glory to a drainer village and bang there. That is absolutely no problem. I prefer the hot air balloon and using a regular log. So 
let's go to Entrana. So this also means that I cannot bring my staff and my cape. But after that, be sure to bring along your teleportation method back to the Magic Guild in Yanil to complete our quest. Fuck, this quest isn't completed. Why not? Huh? I haven't unlocked the route. Fuck me, Neon. All right, Drainer it is. I don't know how long the video is for you, but I'm currently at 17 minutes here. Wow, the amount of mistakes. What is wrong with me today? If for the ultimate Iron Man here, you can just simply drop all the items that are not allowed because we'll need to be on the island for like 10 to 20 seconds. Once you've made it to Entrana, let's go to the western side. Next to the hot air balloon, as well as the herbler shop and the sand pit, you should find Mazion to receive the head of a dead murdered wizard. After we have this, we will need to return to Rarf by ringing the bell at the entrance of the magic guild to complete our quest. Wait, where's my teleport to Brimhaven? Are. You. Fucking. Serious. Oh wow, this is goddamn terrible. Alright, this quest is gonna be very fun to edit. Right, once you've made it back to the Wizard Guild, let's ring the bell, select option 2 to complete your quest. And congratulations, you've completed the Hand in the Sand quest you are awarded with 1k thieving and 9k crafting XP. Ability to buy pink dice from Betty to make pink capes, as well as access to the Magic Guild's rune store. And let's now also run to Bird for our additional reward. Simply talk to him twice and then on the second time select option 1 and he will ship 84 buckets of sand to your bank. Which is also a requirement for the Ardoin Medium Diary. By the way, this is not a one-time thing. You can ask him daily to ship 84 buckets of sand to your bank. Only after completing the Ardoin Elite Diary you can toggle to have Bird deliver the sand without having to remind him every day. Alright, this was my guide how to complete the Hand in the Sand quest. Hopefully it has helped. Not really for me. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. I don't want to edit this.